for their 25th wedding anniversary, the college sent the hearse, Dewey and Aggie, to Sweden on a vacation. So she took the opportunity to look up her father, found out he'd, he'd remarried and had four children. But he had lived godless. He wanted nothing to do with God. He'd suffered a stroke. He was an alcoholic. She met her step-siblings and then asked to see her father. They warned her, whatever you do, don't mention God. With little strength that he has left, he will, he will fly into a rage. She went into the room where he was. Put it, let her tell you this story. I walked in where liquor bottles were everywhere and approached the 73-year-old man lying on a rumpled bed. Papa, she said tentatively. He turned and began to cry. Alina, Alina, I never meant to give you away. It's all right, Papa, she replied, taking him gently in her arms. God took care of me. The man instantly stiffened. The tears stopped. God didn't take care of you. He forgot us. He turned his, his face back to the wall and his back to her. Aggie stroked his face and continued undaunted. Papa, I've got to tell you a story, and it's a true one. It's a true story, Papa. You didn't go to Africa in vain. Mama didn't die in vain. The little boy you won to, to Jesus grew up to win the village for Jesus. The one seed you planted just kept growing and growing, and today there are 600 African people serving the Lord because you were faithful to the call he put on your life. Papa, Jesus loves you. He's always loved you. The old man turned to look into his daughter's eyes. His body relaxed. He began to talk. At the, by the end of the afternoon, he had come back to accept Jesus as his Savior. Over the next few days, father and daughter enjoyed warm moments together. Soon, the hearse had to dis return to America. With tears, they said goodbye, and within a few weeks, David Flood had died. A few years later, the hearse, Aggie and Dewey, were back traveling, this time in London, for a, a, an evangelism conference, hearing stories of missions around the world. There was a report given from the nation of Zaire, the former Belgian Congo, where her parents had gone. The superintendent of the national church representing some 110,000 baptized Christians spoke eloquently of the gospel work in his country. Afterwards, of course, Aggie couldn't help but going to ask him if, she, if he had ever heard of David and Savea Flood. He didn't speak English, but he responded in French and it was translated, yes, ma'am, I have. It was Savea Flood who led me to Jesus. I was a little boy once who sold your parents' eggs. And now I'm the superintendent of the National Church, representing 110,000 baptized believers. <laughs>